The character I play is like all the other sports heroes, only cuter. It's really a stupid game. It's so stupid. You don't really need any intense physical training for baseball. So what's this movie about? Ever since the first day of production and all the way through shooting and, and all the way through post-production, we've been trying to figure out what the movie is about. We actually were in a meeting with David Zucker and he started, he took out a pair of scissors and started cutting out big parts of the script and the quote he said was, we've got to get rid of this plot garbage. Yeah. David Zucker brought us over one day to his, to his driveway and says, you got to play this game. It's really cool. And we played for like an hour and it was just the most boring, abysmal thing we'd ever done. And, uh, and he said, you know, we want to make this into a movie. And we're like, that's, that's a really bad idea, you know? And, and, and he said, but you know, since the game's so boring, we're going to need a lot of jokes. First thing when David's like, I really want you guys to act in my movie. And we're like, wow, being a movie, that, that could be funny. He's like, so, you know, make love to me tonight and then we can, we can talk about a deal. Talking to David about the script, we said, you know, maybe, maybe you should have a part with Yasmin Belief and Jenny McCarthy. And, and he said, well, what would they do? And we're like, who cares? We went to some acting workshops and, and I would say to Matt, I would say, I would have to say, Steve, I can't get my truck to work. Oh, yeah. And I'd have to come in and say, Kevin, Grandpa's really sick. Yeah, come quick. And so we would just do that over and over. I can't get my truck to work. See, you believe that, don't you? I was nervous and I was a first timer, but then after, you know, a few weeks of that, that class, I was able, Steve, I can't get my truck to work. Wow, I can see it. So you're able to open your center, so to speak. Well, no, but, but I can act better. We have big careers now in Hollywood. Now that we've learned to act, do the truck. Steve, I can't get my truck to work. Did now that now that we can do that, now that we have that skill, we can use it in all kinds of movies. Watch, 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 watch. Steve, I can't get my truck to work. Actually, it was created by the Mayans. The only difference is, is then they would play with the severed head of one of their enemies. David's in his little world, you know, and, and he he thinks that he's created a game that Everyone now plays and, and everyone, and it's kind of like, you know, people let him believe that because it's sort of, it's all he has. I mean, David sat there on a couch one day, you know, and, and probably cried himself to sleep and, and dreamed a dream and, and it became baseball. And, you know, then he manipulated us into doing it. He manipulated, you know, a lot of people. And now here's this movie that we were all sold as a sexual thriller and suddenly we're in a sports comedy. We never wanted to be in a sports comedy. We were already doing South Park, so we were like, let's not do any more comedy, let's do a sexual thriller. And David told us that that's what this movie was. You two are going to be the envy of every guy in America. I mean, Yasmin Belief and Jenny McCarthy, two real heartthrobs. Our, our philosophy has always been, you know, if, if, you, if you find something or someone have sex with it first and then, you know, then go on with it, learn about it, you know, and, and or learn about them and grow with them. By not having sex right. with some both with, with somebody, you're basically closing your life off to them. You you know that when someone like, you know, Robert Vaughn's gonna be on the next day. So, you know, you'll spend a lot of time with him the night before and, you know, have some some real passionate moments and then the next day With Robert you know, Vaughn? Yeah, with whoever. With well with whoever, whoever, but Robert Vaughn's there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you get these girls to jump in these so-called orgies? I'll show you how. Steve, I can't get my truck to work. Do you wake up with this every morning thinking, yeah, I'm a real sex symbol now? I wake up with Jenny every morning. Yeah. And Jenny and I had a pretty torrid affair um, that actually her 75-year-old boyfriend, what is he, 75, 80? Yeah. 80 80-year-old boyfriend was pissed off about, but... It's a film set, and so he understood. So you, you two were basically there just to pass the time, drink, and have, have fun. Mostly drink. Yeah. We got drunk a lot on set. Really? Yeah. Film shoots are really about drinking and sex and, and drugs. Oh. And then as it turned out, you know, it was at the end of the shoot when, you know, there's Yasmin and Ginny, like, crying, saying, I don't want this to be over. What what becomes of us now? And And me having to say... It's over. It's part, movies, man. Part of making a movie. It's yeah. movies. It's the, next, the, the next orgy is just around the corner. Yeah. I mean, two weeks later, you have to fall in love with someone else. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and that's trying on you guys. You guys are really the victims here, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Not? And you have feelings. Mm-hmm. I don't. But but it's still, 
it, it, it's still hard, just, just physically. David's in his little world, you know. How would you both like to be remembered? Uh, not at all. It's not really. I don't want to be remembered as involved with this sport at, at all. Yeah, or this film. Well, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, thank you so much for coming by. We're, I'm sure it's going to be a tremendous movie. The people in the United States are really looking forward to seeing this play. Mm, thanks. Thank you.